Today, we're going to be testing out some drum hacks for drummers on a tight budget. We're only going to spend around 20 bucks, so let's see how much money we actually save. Alright, nothing too crazy. Looks pretty normal. I'm rocking a 7-piece, it looks like. Got some foot cam action. <laughs> Except there's no bass drum head. Or pedal. But where's the kick coming from? Ah, there it is. <laughs> Giving a new meaning to bassist. Or he'd be a, a kickist. Now I know this is like an emergency situation where the bass drum head broke, but let's pretend you're broke and can't afford a bass drum head or a pedal. We'll just assume that the venue provides the mic and also that you have a friend that knows the exact bass drum patterns that you're gonna play. Wait, so how am I supposed to know the exact bass drum pattern I'm supposed to play? If that sucked, let us know in the comments because we have no idea. <laughs> all right, let's try some uh, some double bass. Oh, okay. All right, hold on there, pal. Oh, was that, is that the double bass setup? Dude, this is with black pants. This is not a good look. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there? I, just playing my bass drum pedal. Don't mind me. Uh, let's try bleed. Oh god. <laughs> if, if it's clean, I'm, I'm gonna take the credit for it. All right. All right. Uh, uh. Nope. Nope. This is gonna be awful. <laughs> I can, I've already lost count. I can't even play with my hands. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. This is awful. Um, what else can we do? We just do breakdowns. Uh, blast beat. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> Now with all those savings, I think we can at least afford to fix a drum head and maybe even give Bryce a day off. Maybe Made a drum, drum head out of duct tape. tape. I'm assuming he's just wrapping tape around the collar of an old head. <laughs> she sounds a little bit thick, but it fits on the drum and it looks like a rim fits on it. And you can tune it. And that's how you make a drum head out of duct tape and the collar of a head. I think the first thing he did was just wrap a strip of tape around the hoop. And now we fold it around. It's starting to look like something. I bought the cheapest duct tape possible and this stuff is junk. Man, this has all the tone. Let's go ahead and make it a two-ply head and also to add strength, let's run the tape the opposite direction. And one final touch. It's beautiful. Goodbye and hello. <laughs> it's a little bit tight on the hoop, but she went on just fine. Kinda sounds like a tom. Whoa, <laughs> listen to that. Definitely gotta adjust the resonant, I think. Oh, that's a rip. The nice thing is we can just tape it back together. Like it never even happened. I 
broke it again. It actually kind of sounds better. I mean, if you're into pinch, it kind of works. You just can't really hit as hard, but at least you're saving money. A 12 inch Tom head is $19.95. This roll of duct tape was $7.95, which is a savings of $12. Plus there's plenty of tape left to make even more drum heads. Or you can turn your single pedal into a double pedal. Just need some tape and a stick. Then we stick the stick to the pedal with the tape, of course. It has to be in the middle. Yeah, monos. And now you got a double bass pedal. Ugh. That's what I get for buying the cheap tape. No worries, I think we can fix that by taping the tape down. Much better. Okay, first things first, you can't have your snare where you usually have your snare. You gotta go with the side snare. Maybe heel down is the answer. No, it's not. Oh gosh. It's only a little bit awkward and takes some practice, but at least you're saving money, right? A double bass pedal costs $549.99. We had the tape from before, and every drummer has a random stick laying around, so that's a total savings of $549.99, which brings the grand total savings to $864.97. <laughs> Do you think this is going to work? No. <laughs> Three, two, one. That did nothing. <laughs> no. Nothing. All right, so. I figured if we put this china on upside down, the lip of it will catch the edge of the cat better and hopefully it will pop off. Broken china, take one. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Actually, it hit me in the face. Where'd it go? It took off that way. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> Let's be real. Symbols are expensive. Bottle openers are cheap. But the price of your ride symbol is totally worth looking cool in front of your friends. Now that we got beer all over our symbols, we need a way to clean them. We have a love-hate relationship with the cleaning of our symbols. Drop a comment. Are you team clean or team dirty? An effective way to clean symbols is to use a lemon-based pledge furniture spray with a microfiber cloth. Simply apply and spray onto the symbol and gently wipe away with the cloth. When finished, the marks and fingerprints will relatively be gone, but the sound that we have come to love is still intact. The love is still intact. We're going full infomercial, real time before and after. I got the symbol divided in two and pledgeified one side of it. I will say that it smells good and also that it didn't leave any residue and was really easy to clean off. But there were still some stick marks so I went again, going heavier with the pledge and also really digging into the logo because surprisingly a lot of symbol cleaners do remove the logos. Here's the pledge side which still has some stick marks. And here's the unclean side for comparison with even more stick marks. At a glance, there isn't a huge difference, but also this symbol wasn't the dirtiest to begin with. But on the edge where you're touching the symbol the most, you can see a very faint line where the pledge side is brighter and cut through all the gunk. 
So if you're looking for a light duty symbol cleaner and want to get rid of some fingerprints or just freshen up your symbols a little, then uh, I'll say Pledge is the way to go. This can was only $5.59 and the average cost of the nine symbol cleaners that are sold on Sweetwater.com is $17.20, so that's a total savings of $11.61. You could buy three of these and it'd still be cheaper. Hello? Can you see me? I've been waiting seven years to bring this back. I kind of jumped the gun in a previous drum hack video, but the time is finally right. What are these? Balloon size measurement tools, which look awfully similar to O-rings. Now, I'm no balloon expert, but I guess if you want really precisely sized balloons, you use uh, these things. Four inches. All right, there's a five inch balloon. Six inches. There's seven, eight, nine inches. And we blew past 10. So a handful of people have told me about these things in the past, and I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of forgotten about them. But recently, I was tagged in a video by TJ, and he was talking about these things, which sparked my memory, so let's finally see if these work on drums. So the first thing I want to figure out with these is how well they fit on drums because they're not made for drums. The 2 inch is a bit too small for a 6 inch. The 3 inch is just a hair too big for the 6 inch. The 4 inch has no home. The five inch ring fits perfectly on an eight inch drum. The six has no home. The seven inch ring fits perfectly on a 10 inch. The eight has no home. The nine inch fits perfectly on a 12 inch. And the 10 inch, which is the biggest in the pack, fits perfectly on a 13. If I was smart, I would have bought two packs of these so that way I'd have a bigger one on the snare. This is the eight inch ring, which doesn't fit on any drum. And even if I did get another pack, the biggest one really only fits on a 13 inch and is a bit loose on the 14. But for the price, they're hard to beat. A pack of Remos will set you back around 15 bucks. These were only $1.25, so that's a savings of around $13.75. But what if I told you there's an even cheaper way to muffle your drums? This is my muff drawer. Not to be confused with my muff box, which both the box and the drawer are missing one thing. Cheese. If you can't afford moon gel, not a problem. You could use a slice of American cheese, or maybe even two. Dang, two slices. Off the drum, giving it a really sharp tone. And, because you're a drummer, you need snacks. And you can eat it. No problem. Maybe there's a reason that nobody does this. Okay, I did the math. One moon gel weighs two grams, and one slice of cheese weighs 17 grams. Which means you would need eight and a half moon gels to equal one cheese slice. A 24 pack of cheese is $5.79 and a 6 pack of moon gel is $8.75. Which means you would need to buy $297.50 worth of moon gel to equal the $5.79 pack of cheese. I almost just burned it. Which that brings the grand total of savings for all of these hacks up to $1,182.04. Cheese is crust. That's a lot of dough.